Hi Libra, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading. With me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen, oh, we are going to dive into the energy. So I wanted to throw these readings out there for you guys, just because we're going through a lot of retrogrades that are happening right now. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up as we move into this energy. So it's directly for that, okay? This is for Libra Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra, and the message actually could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. I'm going to go ahead and take that. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I am taking those. I don't usually do that, but I'm going to do it. So if you guys would like to book a one on one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Okay, my loves, are you ready? So this is a very interesting line up. We have got the lovers and the queen of wands. Okay. Now, uh, could be Gemini, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And this is why I was kind of surprised. I was drawn to take that specific card, which I never do. So hopefully you guys trust me that that was for a reason, but I took that because I feel as though this seemed very significant to me because for the clarification is the knight of wands i think libra there's something still going on in your energy of like okay just wait for this entanglement because it could be that you kind of conjured up a connection with a person and i'm going to tell you what it's going to be mirroring because the knight of wands this person could be in and out of your life right we know that all about the knight of wands he's like here and there at the same time okay fiery passionate kind of a free spirit what i'm seeing of this person so maybe libra that's part of the thing that you were very drawn to and connected to about this person is their their passion their creativity you were like oh my gosh like it was just delicious to be around them they could have been an artist in a different type of way do you know what i mean but there was just something very unique about them that you're drawn to and this person, I feel like, does have quite a bit of attention on them. Could be male or female, definitely, with that lineup. So don't get caught up by the gender. But there is a really fascinating kind of energy of their own feminine and masculine energy. So here's what I'm going to talk about. Because with the lover's card, it is mirroring something in you. And I feel like this is what's coming up in the retrograde because we have Venus going retrograde in Gemini. And that's why I was kind of drawn to that being right underneath. That's not only your own energy, but the queen of swords you've got all over your spread. This is Gemini. This could be that Gemini energy. And that's why I was feeling so drawn to take them, which just, just barely clicked for me. So I think what's mirroring for you, Libra, is that there's something about your own passion that was coming out in this person. You could have at a time been really calling out to the universe and asking about a direction to go in that you were like, what's my passion or what's the thing? What's my drive? What's and maybe those are questions that you're asking yourself right now. The queen of swords, I feel like it's possible this person could be coming in and out, but I think with that Libra in Gemini, Libra retrograde in Gemini right now means that you could be putting up some boundaries with this person because there's a really fascinating entanglement here that maybe you're coming to realizations libra that you want a stable committed partnership and and that could have been this clarity that's coming into you you're finally seeing that this is never what you could have wanted but there was all this amazing stuff that came out of it so that's why I want to focus on this right here, because I do think that it's helping you to see the direction that you need to go in. But what I'm getting, Libra, it's almost like you kind of mistook this person and it could have been some of the, there were these two parts of you. OK, you guys know how I talk about this, but. When we're talking about the Knight of Wands, someone that's in and out of your life, it's because there's still things about your own life, Libra, that you're not fully committed to. And it's probably about your passion or that's that back and forth energy where you're like, I really want to do this. And then you're like, well, do I like, 
is that it? You know? So all those questions will usually come out as a manifestation in a human. It's just reflecting your back and forth energy. So that's why I think that there's something about... Um, you were calling for some type of an answer from the universe. You were like, what do I do? What passion, what's this passionate thing I'm supposed to be doing? Because you knew it was there, but you just weren't totally sure on what it looked like or what it is for you. So you brought this human forth and it was like the universe was saying, hey, you know, this is what you're going to be doing. That was the reflection that you were supposed to see in it. But what you could have done is you could have like tried to really get involved with this person and that wasn't really what they were there for and i think you missed some things about this person so let me dive into this like if the cards ever decide to come out yeah this is why libra okay <laughs> seven of swords and the temperance card that this can this to me is self-deception because to be honest libra okay don't shoot the messenger but i think yeah maybe there's things that you're like this person is so deceptive they're so sneaky like they they were supposed to be like this what it was reflecting is that it was the self-deception, okay? You guys know how I talk about this, but there could have been things that you saw at the beginning that you were like, this person's just gonna be in and out of my life or they're never gonna commit. And you could have seen that, but it could have been where like, you were trying to force it to be something. Do you know what I mean? And for some of you, this is the other tricky thing I'm gonna tell you. Because if you were almost trying to, you know, like, this could have been where your shadow came in, Libra, where the approval that you didn't get from one of your parents, okay, is this is the trauma bond energy. So you didn't get that love and attention that you were needing from a parent, and that chemically gets stored inside of you. So if you were feeling like ashamed of yourself because you wanted to live one way, but your parent was like, no, that's not the way you're supposed to live. You're supposed to live my life. And you felt rejected from their love. Then that's the chemical part of this connection. That's the karma or whatever you want to call it. That's the shadow side. But so all the times that you came out and shamed this person for maybe like, that you felt like they were deceptive. It was because you were pulling into your shadow self. You started filling all of your shadow inside of this person and kind of projecting it in a way. So you were like, shame on them for not committing. But there were other things that actually could have told you that. The temperance card. Like you, this was you becoming, because that's the part of you that needed to become balanced. Does that make sense? With that temperance, this, that needed to be balanced inside of you. Of like, being more decisive, um, getting your own self-worth from yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel as though whenever you come back into contact with this person, especially if there's all this passion that you feel towards this person, it's not necessarily like, don't mistake passion for meaning that that is going to be a lifetime time partner because that passion can be fiery and fast, but it doesn't mean that it's always going to end up being stable and long term. You know what I mean? So that could be the thing that you're also working out energetically through all these retrogrades is that you're going to be learning how to stabilize that energy inside of yourself, really being consistent in some area of your life and being very dedicated to things. So you, like I said, you could be asking your yourself this question about what your passion is or your life purpose the question is great to ask but I'll tell you that the the answer always comes through your spiritual consistency through your spiritual discipline you know what I mean so that means like when you start being really consistent about changing a chemical program inside of you that you've come to a realization about that manifested through another human that you entangled with when you finally see that when you get the clarity it's like okay time no more time for self-deception this is where you're going to become balanced because you're no longer lying to yourself about certain people and certain connections you see them for what they are and you're like okay this is what it is and you're very wise and detached in that you're not really emotional in it anymore i don't know if these will actually ever come out 
leave her up. That's one. Okay, that's what I was talking about with the Five of Pentacles. Because I feel like part of the self-deception, Libra, is that you continue to almost be attracted to, just based off of this Knight of Wands energy that maybe is even dormant inside of you, right? That you're back and forth about certain things in your life. So that back and forth energy makes you get into certain environments or situations where you tend to feel left out or rejected. Then what happens is you possibly start trying to fit in. You start trying to mold yourself. And then it turns into a self-deception. And look at the... This has come out in almost all the reads today. So that's what I was saying with that Queen of Swords. That's the freaking clarity. Two fives right there means that any type of conflict that's coming up for you guys right now, it means change is coming change is right on the way because there is no more time with all of these planets going retrograde for self-deception it's not going to work in this energy it's like okay time especially saturn retrograde is going to that entanglement with that planet is going to cause uh any type of like losing track of your self-discipline there's going to be a karmic lesson or return from that does that make sense so let me grab one more card. Yeah, and look at this. Libra. I, I love that we're ending on this because of what the Queen of Pentacles means that this could be for you guys as far as money. You know, maybe there was something going on where you were lying to yourself about something being more stable than it really was. But look how powerful you have three queens coming in here. Don't get caught up by the gender, but it just pretty much means that you're going through this balancing of your feminine and masculine energy. But right here, the queen of pentacles takes care of her body. She eats good foods. She's very healthy. And that could be something that you guys need to really buckle down and take a look at. That it's like no more, no more lying to yourself about that. Because now it's time for everything that you've learned in the past. Everything that you've been able to see at certain points in your life. You were like, okay, my health was really stable at this time. But I had a really crazy job. You know what I mean? It's like there have been times in your life where you're coming through all of these understandings about what your lifestyle, what you want it to look like. And so now there's this opportunity for you to really start applying it. Work with where you're at and start diving into that right now. Get organized about your self-care. Start diving into it because there are huge shifts that's going to take place. And so that's why I said you guys might be putting some boundaries up with a particular person. Not necessarily shaming them it's just that you're seeing okay the reflection is this was really what was going on inside of me so now I can let go of this person that's in and out of my life you know that trauma bond energy so uh, Libra I'm gonna dive into the extended with this and see what other messages want to come out so if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there but Libra if this is where we leave things I'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading Take care.